So what are we doing today? Well, I've got all most of my males, which I've heard calling and a few I've vent sexed here and there over the past four or five days. I've got like 27 males, I think, in there right now. Well, I've still got about 30 birds in here. Um, had a very exciting moment where I found really healthy female. She's already 10 and a half ounces. Big girl, beautiful bird. Has just a little light, just dark feather on her tail. You know, for being a white Coternix, great color on her. Um, so that was a very exciting day to have a bird that big right at around, roughly around nine weeks. So we gotta finish sorting them. So I'm gonna try to vent sex the rest of them, but this doesn't always work. Sometimes you have late bloomers for males, but most of the time, if you practice it, you check back there, they've got a little bulbous right on the tip of what I call their, you know, the tailbone essentially. And you'll feel this little ball back there or they're gonna foam. And now I have been adding light for over a week. So what I've noticed is a lot of the females, they get a bigger vent because they're females. And the males have a very small vent. Um, so that's three different ways to check them. So what I'm so I'm gonna vent sex them. Hopefully we can get it narrowed down, get most of the males out of there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put definite females in one cage, possible males in another cage. You know, if it's hard to vent sex and I can't tell by the vent. And then we're gonna keep an eye on them over the next couple of days and see which ones might bloom to male or female. But I'm gonna do a little fast action and we're gonna get this recorded. Maybe I'll trip and maybe you guys will get some laughs. I had no clue that I could move that fast. <laughs> so I've got them separated out. So let's take a look at what we've got left over here. Now, if you didn't notice in that high speed video, I had to put this stick up here. What you didn't see is two or three of them just popped out. One flew out of the cage and one landed up here. Great moment. But I am pretty sure all of these are females. They have a large vent. They don't have a bulbous on the back. So that's a good group of females. And there's some pretty birds in here. These, I'm not so sure about. Um, the vent's still small on these. They didn't foam. I didn't feel bulbous on them. So these are, I guess you could say these are kind of my late bloomers. I don't keep late bloomers. I'm gonna give these guys maybe another week i'm gonna weigh them and see how fast they've grown if they've got a good weight on them i might keep them another week or two if they don't have a good weight unfortunately today's gonna be one of the last days because i will be calling them soon now what i have left in here is two males and my two very large females for sure now males i'm tagging green the females, I'm gonna tag with a purple tag. And the definite females, I'm gonna keep tag with a purple tag. And then the ones maybe keep them, I'm gonna tag them with a pink tag. And these right here, unfortunately, are gonna be getting a red tag so I can keep an eye on them. But this is where I'm at right now. Worked really well. All right, I've just separated all my birds out. It's been a week later. Well, I'm going back to make sure that I was correct because every once in a while, you might have a male or two slip by when you're vent sexing. Um, I've been getting about five or six eggs a day, which is awesome. I have been adding light, trying to get the females and males to be more active because I don't want to keep a bunch of males if not necessary. Now I've got 16 birds. Um, I wanted about 10 to 15 females and two or three males. So, three of them, I tagged pink because I wasn't sure if they were male or female. But as I was sorting all the birds out, I double checked everybody just to make sure. Clearly, females were females. They had much larger vents. You could tell where some of them actually started laying. Their vent was considerably larger and was slightly bulging. And then, you know, the males, they still were males. And then I finally got to my 
three unknowns. Now, two of them, gratefully, are females. One of them was a beautiful, beautiful white bird. Um, and then one male snuck in there on me. So, he's very lucky because I wanted three males. I wanted two beautiful males, which I got very healthy. One of them is much larger, definitely gonna stay a breeder. And then I have this guy, which actually is very healthy as well. So I lucked out in this situation. Um, you know, if all three of them had have turned out to be males, all three of them may have been come dinner. You know, I can't just call one bird, but again, I am breeding for eggs and I am breeding for meat and to sell the birds to cover cost of raising them. Now, I've got 13 females and I've got three males, which is a great ratio for me because again, I'm gonna take this, this is gonna turn into a breeding set uh, and I am gonna keep the males because I am gonna be rotating out some males. So, worked out great. But again, one more week, the birds are roughly about nine and a half, ten and a half weeks old and now they're all showing their true feathers. So, goes to show you, even with experience, you can still miss one. But if you tag them out, you separate them out good, it makes it much easier. And the ones you're not sure about, you can find them and you can make sure that you have the flock of animals that you want. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I will be making more videos in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thanks, guys, and appreciate you checking out Practical Junk.